Hey guys, my name is Ivan and today we're going to look at the shuttle control and how to set it up alongside Ableton Live to use for basic MIDI to CV gate sequencing. So first of all, since the shuttle system is a two-voice synthesizer, for this example we're going to set the shuttle control to output two pairs of pitch and gate information. First of all, in order to make the shuttle control work, we need to create a preset using the Cargo 4 editor and uh, let's head straight to it. So once we enter the Cargo 4 uh, website, we can see all our presets and all the configurations for the 16 outputs. So again, for this example, let's set the CV output 1 to be on channel 1. And this is going to be set to pitch 1 volt per octave. CV output 2 is going to be on channel 1 as well, but here we're going to set it to trigger unipolar. Uh, for the CV output 3, we're going to set it to channel 2 and to output pitch 1 volt per octave and CV output 4, again channel 2 and this is going to be a trigger unipolar. So now our preset is pretty much done, we just have to write it and store it to the shuttle control. First of all we need to select uh, which preset you want to write it to but for this purpose we're going to write it to channel 1 once you press write current preset, you will see a letter P light up. This means that the preset has been successfully flashed and we are ready to go. Now let's change to Ableton. And first of all, if this is your first time using Ableton, you have to uh, activate the preferences inside of the Ableton to make it recognize the shuttle control as a media device. Let's go to live preferences link MIDI and make sure that all of these six options are turned on. This means that we can send information from computer to shuttle control, from shuttle control uh, host port back to the computer and so on. Inside of the Ableton first we have to create a MIDI track and to this MIDI track we have to drop an external instrument and uh, set the MIDI output to shuttle control. Here we can also select the MIDI channel we want to send the information to and since we only have two outputs or two MIDI channels or two voices, here we're going to set it to channel 1 and then duplicate the track and set it to channel 2. For this tutorial I've already created all the MIDI information and uh, for the baseline and for the lead voice. So let's delete these two tracks and uh, I will walk you through what I have configured here. So for the lead track I've also added uh, an arpeggiator and a random octave generator that uh, manipulates the MIDI information and makes it more kind of interesting and evolving. For the bass voice, nothing special, it's just the external instrument and a simple repetitive bass line. For the lead, as you can see, I have chords and these chords become arpeggios. So uh, let's hear the result. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and in the next video we'll go over how to use MIDI CC messages and send them via shuttle control to automate your sequences, make them more interesting and so on. Uh, click the like button, subscribe and hope to see you in the next video.